will be in the playoffs. And, and since we're the last tiebreaker, then if we lose, there's a good chance we may be two and two in district, and so may Brownfield, and we may not make it to the playoffs. So an extremely important ball game for both teams here tonight. This is uh, seniors' night here in Littlefield, so, I mean in Brownfield, so uh, the fans over here on the Brownfield side where we're announcing uh, really seem to be getting with it in the game and, and uh, all over town. They have signs and all up, so they're ready to play us. Now, last week, Littlefield, or Leveland defeated Brownfield 24-6, to and of course we lost to Cooper 28-13, but uh, it seems like Brownfield always feels like they can play against the Mules, maybe because of our size and their size. And last year we came over here and thought we had the best team, and I still feel like we did, but we didn't play all that well, and we were defeated 22-15. to 15. So we can hope that we're ready to play here tonight. The uh, Mules do have some injuries. Um, they'll have some in the secondary especially. Especially, they'll have things uh, patched up somewhat, so we'll see what happens there. Brownfield has only scored a couple of touchdowns in district play. Of course, they played two games, or one and one. They scored one touchdown against Level End and one against Littlefield, and that was enough to win in that game 7-6. to six. The uh, Mules still have the best uh, average on defense in the district, giving up uh, 173 yards per game. And, uh, of course, Brownfield's averaged only 12.5 points per game all year. So, you know, it's an interesting matchup, and we're looking forward to quite a ball game. And like Gene Paul said, the wind has died down. The field looks like it's in good shape, and uh, we're looking forward to a good one here. We have some uh, starting lineups, and we'll go over those with you. First of all, we'll go over the Leveland Lobos' uh, starting offense. They have uh, at quarterback Andrew Sides, number 12. He's 6'1", 175, a senior. And at uh, fullback Josh Hope, who has been uh, their big running back this year, number 42, he scored both district touchdowns, had 113 yards rushing against uh, Littlefield in that victory for Brownfield. 5'9", 185, senior for Hope. Jeremy Clayton, number 30, is in at tailback. 5'9", 163, a senior. Out at the uh, wing back is Ryan Tails, number 34. 5'10", 175, a junior. At uh, the strong side on offense will be Cody Jenkins, number 80, 6'3", 200-pound senior. At, uh, that's a tackle. At uh, guard will be J.J. Job, number 62. 5'10", 190, a senior. And at center is Jay Guerra, number 74, 5'10", 220 pound senior. So Brownfield does have good size in that line. The uh, weak side guard will be Keith Rodriguez, number 66, 5'10", 180, a senior, or a junior. And at tackle on that side will be Eduardo Acosto, 5'9", 165, a senior. The uh, wide receiver is Matt McC Clure, number 10, 5'10", 150, a senior. And I think I called one name wrong. Daniel Garcia is uh, the weak side tackle, number 65, 5'9", 210, a senior. The uh, Mules on offense will have Corey Atwood, number 59, starting at center, 5'11", 185, a senior. On the uh, weak side, uh, Jeff Circle, 5'11", 200, a junior. And at the tackle will be Jordan Bond, number 63, 62, 175, a senior. On the strong side will be at guard, number 73, Juan Nunez, 6 feet, 215, a senior. And at tackle, number 65, Lorenzo Nunez, 5'10", 220, a junior. At the tight end will be Joel Salcedo, 6 feet, 180, a senior. And out at the wide receiver, Tyler Wood, 6'1", 150, or 160, a senior. The uh, wing back will be Chris Kendall, 6'1", 180, a senior. The tailback tonight will be Brady Black, 6 feet, 195, a junior. And at fullback, Caleb Hendricks, 5'10", 175, a junior. At quarterback will be Brand Hamilton, number 10, 6 feet, 170, a sophomore. So those are the starting lineups and a little bit of information about the game. And uh, in just a few minutes, we'll get this big, big district game underway, and we're looking forward to a good one.
Okay, Gene Paul, we're ready to get this big ball game underway. The Brownfield Cubs won the toss, and they deferred until the second half, so the Mules will be receiving down on the north end of the field. And uh, Brownfield setting up to kick off, and we're just about to get this one underway. Okay, back deep, we have Juan Reyes, number 24, and having trouble seeing the numbers down in the dark down there. Looks like... Cadell, okay. Kendall, <laughs> or Kendall, Kendall, Chris Kendall, okay. And kicking off is number 80 for Brownfield. Get his name in. A real, a very good kick taken down there by Kendall, and he picks the ball up, fell down, then picked it up, has a good run back, and he's all the way out nearly to the 30 yard line. You know, Kendall, Gene Paul uh, dropped that ball while he was down on one knee. If he catches that ball, the ball's down right there and we've got it on about the five yard line and luckily he dropped the ball, then picked it up and ran it all the way back out to close to the 30 yard line. Yeah, he made a good run. There was an opening there for a little bit. Like he broke through about two waves of people and got tackled on the 30, so. Okay, to about, to about the 30 yard line, so the mules will put the ball in play from that area. Rand Hamilton in at quarterback. We have Brady Black at tailback tonight and Caleb Hendrick in at fullback. High formation. Brownfield set up in the five-man front. There's the pitch to Black. Black has running room. He's across the 40. He's across midfield. He's down to the 45, the 30. He may go all the way, and he just went all the way. Gene Paul on the first play of the ball game. Uh, we, uh, we thought Black might look good back at that tailback. He takes a pitch back there from Hamilton, and he just outruns around that right side. Brownfield all the way into the end zone. They had one defensive halfback that had a shot at him on about the 10 and just couldn't catch him. So, oh, no flags down. And the first play, of the, are they calling it back? Did they drop a flag? They did drop a flag. I didn't see that. Goodness, that's a bad start. I was hoping the officials wouldn't be doing that tonight, but they uh, certainly did on this first play. What did they call on us? Black just goes 70 yards around the right side. I saw no flags, but one drifted in out of somewhere. Boy, we've seen a lot of that this year. And we saw it again. Really? And the call, I understand, is uh, they call the offensive face mask. I guess one of our blockers hit somebody in the face mask. I'd, I've never heard that call, but we got it called in. It just cost us a 70-yard run. Actually, it cost us, uh, well, it cost us 10 yards. No, 15, you're right. 15 all the way back to the 15-yard line. So the Mules, instead of being up 6 nothing, are back on their own 15, and it's going to be first down and 25 to go. All right, there's the same play again. Black around the right side cuts in and picks up some yardage. He's out to about to 24. Picked up nine yards on the play. Good cut back in there, but Black, just the same play, a pitch to the right side. And uh, I'm not really sure. I guess one of our blockers grabbed somebody's face mask. That's all I can figure, and, you know, that doesn't really make sense, but I guess that's what happened. So it's a second down and still about 15 to go. Mules of the football. They've just had a 70-yarder call back from the first play from scrimmage. I got all, all excited there for nothing. And there goes a the handoff to Black, and he's almost tripped up out across the 40. He's gone again. Let's see if there's a flag. I see no flag, and he's going to be gone again if he doesn't give out Gene Paul, and he's going to go all the way into the end zone. No flags this time. So Black is just about to give out right now, Gene Paul. He's carried the ball three times. He went 70 yards, had it called back. Then he goes nine yards, and uh, then he goes, uh, let's see, what was that, 75 on that. So he has three runs of 150-some-odd yards, 154. One of the touchdowns counts, and uh, he just ran right through Brownfield in, Gene Paul. And uh, so the Mule's up 6 nothing, and they'll be going for two. Their kicker is unavailable tonight he was injured last game and i think we're in there we are that was a direct snap back to black i believe and he just runs it into the end zone so two big extra points there the mules up eight nothing and that's taking the brownfield crowd out of the ball game for the moment and uh, that looked easy gene paul 70 yards on one play nine yards on the play and then 75 on another play so well, that 70 didn't count, though. <laughs> well, 70 didn't count, but he got some good conditioning, didn't he? <laughs> he uh, he's had 86 yards. And 
86, 86 yards on two carries for Black from that tailback position. Man, he looks good back there. He, he's back there deeper, and he can see better. And uh, he broke a few tackles uh, on those two runs also, especially on that last one. So the Mules will be kicking off to the Cubs, leading 8 to nothing. With uh, Now we're going to have trouble seeing the clock. No, we can see it here. 10.49 remaining in the opening quarter. No, of course he'll be back. Let's get their numbers if we can. Okay, Jim Paul, the mule's about to kick off here, and uh, let's see if Lewis is kicking off tonight. He is. Lewis will be kicking off for the mules, and let's see if he kicks deep tonight. Back deep. Boy, it's hard to see those numbers, isn't it? Okay, so Lewis is set, waiting for the official's whistle now. I believe Garcia is back deep. Kendall, uh, Kendall kicking off. It is Kendall kicking off. You're right. Oh. <laughs> Somebody else kicking that's off. A, that's a good kick down to about the six-yard line and some running room around the right side. And uh, little I mean, Brownfield gets all the way out to the 31. Good cut back in there by Garcia as he picks up some yardage. And uh, seven, Flores in on the tackle in the first one down for the mule. So, Brownfield will put the ball in play from their own just about 30-yard line. That's just exactly, Gene Paul, where the mule started here to begin this game. Went to 70 yards and got it called back and then went 9 yards and then went 75 yards. So let's see what Brownfield can do on offense here. There goes a handoff straight ahead and about 4 yards right up the middle, and that's, uh, okay, that is uh, uh, Hope. Hope is uh, the back to watch here for the Cubs. He has a couple of touchdowns in district play. He had 117 yards against uh, Littlefield in Brownfield's victory over Littlefield a couple of weeks ago. So it's going to be second down and about uh, five and a half for the first down. That was just a handoff right uh, up the middle in for Hope. And at quarterback for Brownfield, it's Sides, Andrew Sides, number 12. There goes a handoff straight ahead, a couple of yards. It's going to be third down, about two. And that's going to be uh, Hope again. Tail. Or tail in, tail in carrying the ball. Okay, so it's going to be a third down and I think about two. Let's see what the, something, maybe a penalty on Brownfield down on the field. Let's see what they're calling. There is a flag down in the secondary, back in the Mule Shoe secondary. And it's against Brownfield. That's going to be a big one, Gene Paul. I think uh, unsportsmanlike maybe. That's going to be 15, I think. Let's see. Yeah. You know, uh, you want your defense off the field, but Brady Black may want him to stay out there a while and catch his breath. The only problem is he's on defense. <laughs> okay, the ball, uh, number 44 back at safety. Well, he's not in there right now, is he? Probably let him catch his breath. Okay, the ball is uh, on the 23-yard line. It's going to be... That's a loss of down play there. So it's going to be third down and it looks like 22 for the first down for the Cubs. And they will more than likely air it out this time. 16 for the first down. Yeah, 16. Back to pass. A little pass out there is broken up out there. Number seven, Jared Flores broke that one up. Number four, the intended receiver then for Brownfield. And that is... Uh, you know what, we don't have a four down here either. So it's going to be fourth down and 16 for the Brownfield Cubs uh, from their own about 23. And, uh, okay, back deep. Is that a Heinrich back deep, I believe? And there's a kick. I almost got to that and block it. We may just get out of the way this time. And it's taking a Brownfield roll, but we still have, whoa, don't touch it. We almost touched that. Is that, that's Tyler Wood back there deep. Okay, so 
Muleshoe has excellent field position. They have the ball on uh, about the 41-yard line in Muleshoe territory, and I don't see any reason for us to quit running the ball like we have until they stop us. No, they'd run the ball good. They just, Brownfield has got off a 35-yard punt there down to the 40-yard line. So Muleshoe's got better field position than they started out with yet tonight, but, uh, Ronnie. Okay, so uh, first and 10. Actually, the ball's on about the 40-and-a-half-yard line. That's uh, Wood out wide to the right side now. We have Black back in the backfield and Hamilton. Hamilton takes a snap, hands off to Black. Black trying the other side this time, and he's, he's way down there again, and he's tackled at the 40-yard line on the other end, and no flags down that I see. And uh, 20, 20 more yards there for Brady Black. He took the handoff around the left side then and uh, was tackled the last man that could tackle him. Gene Paul tackled him, or we might have been going again. So we have a first and 10 on the 38-yard line, 39-yard line, actually, of the uh, Cubs. So I guess we had, uh, yeah, we had 20 yards in is what we had. So it's uh, first and 10, the ball on the 39-yard line, Mule Shoe lining up on offense. Cubs in the four-man front this time. And a direct snap back. And Hamilton in trouble, and oh my goodness, he's thrown for a big loss. We wanted to open things up a little and pass the ball in, and we weren't open, and Hamilton takes a big loss in. So from a first and 10 on the 40, we're all the way back to the 46 now, so it'll be second and 16. And it, uh, they haven't stopped us on the run yet, but we thought we'd loosen them up a little, and we weren't able to do so. So we, instead of a first and 10, we now have a second and 16. Wood again out wide to the right. Three backs in the backfield. There goes a the handoff to Black up the middle. Not a whole lot going on there. He has a couple. Pretty good defense on that right side of the defensive line for Brownfield. And it's going to be third and very long for the Mules now. Third and about 16, 13, third and 13. So the Mules probably will put the ball in the air this time. However, as well as they've run around the corners, they may try a couple of corner runs here, especially if they get yardage on the first one. Okay, so third down coming up. Direct snap. Hamilton out to the right side, fires his man out there, and it's overthrown, so the mules will have to punt. I had a, had a couple of men out there and just couldn't get the ball to them, so what you want to do, Gene Paul, when you have a team down a little bit like Brownfield was, is let them get their stuff back and get the momentum back and that's uh, what they seem to be doing now on defense and we only have the eight point lead so the mules will punt the ball back deep is number one for brownfield let's call that number 11 tyree wilkins and the kick it's it's a good one it's down around the goal line taken down there by wilkins and he's going to be Tackle to hit hard out there around the 22-yard line. Let's see if we can see who made that tackle. Really hard to see these numbers here. The lights, uh, I don't know. Atwood on the tackle. Okay, it's a good hard lick over there by Atwood. So the ball on the 22-yard line, and this will be the second offensive series for Brownfield. What the Mules need to do is get that ball back and just march down there and score again. That was a 38-yard Punt by Kendall that time. Yeah, 38 yard punt, about a four yard return. And uh, another penalty on Brownfield. I didn't see that flag come down. And so they're moved all the way back from the 22 to the, I guess that's half the distance of the goal. They're on the 11. So they must have blocked in the back. So penalties evening up here real, very well here in the first quarter with them. Uh, 7.24 remaining, the Mules scored easily and quickly, then uh, had a couple of losses on the uh, second series and didn't get anything going, but they lead eight to nothing. Three receivers out wide to the right side. Here comes a sweep around this side, and pretty good defense in there by Flores, number seven, number 22, Benia, also over there to help out, and it looked like the runner for Brownfield then just uh, slipped too. Gene Ball, and he's going to lose a couple of yards on that play. He's back to the 10. Uh, I believe that's, uh, yeah, where's my roster for them? 
hope. Okay, it's uh, second down and 22, or rather 12. That was a first and 10, not a first and 20. Handoff straight ahead. Good defense out of the mules over on the left side. That's Shelburne in there. And, and uh, Mendoza, Atwood over on that side. So pickup of about uh, oh, four yards on the play. It's still third and long, third and seven for the Cubs. And they're deep in their own territory. If we can hold here, Gene Paul, we'll make them punt from near their end zone. So it's a big third down here. Mules have to dig in. Round fell with uh, two receivers out on both sides. One blocking back. Fake. Back to pass. Sides fire, fires. Oh, almost. Is it intercepted? Not quite. All right. It looked like uh, number 81 might have been open across the middle, but the pass overthrown by sides. And Black almost intercepted. Tried to pitch the ball out kind of dangerously there over to one of our boys over on the left side, and it was incomplete, but it is a fourth down, and Brownfield will be punting from their end zone or right near their end zone. That was Barry Morris that Black was trying to pitch the ball to, batted it to him and just couldn't quite get it. Almost blocked again, and it's high, and fair catch, and no, no fair catch. Wood takes the ball and makes maybe a yard on the play before he's tackled. And so the uh, Mules have excellent field position this time. They're on uh, the Brownfield 44-yard line, so, boy, we need to get something out of this. While we've got them down, we need to <laughs> go for the kill early in this game. Okay, the mule's up to the line of scrimmage. Hamilton back in the shotgun. Brady Black back there with him. Four-man front for Brownfield. There goes... Hamilton keeping the ball. He has running room, and he's out across the 30. He's across the 20. He may be gone, and he is tackled. This short of the goal line on about the five-yard line. So we've been running black up the middle and wide, and that time a very good fake to black. He carried out to fake. Hamilton keeps the ball, goes around the left side, and almost breaks it. He goes all the way from the 44-yard of um, yard line of Brownfield down to the seven-yard line where he was pushed out of bounds. So it'll be a first down and goal to go for the Mules from that point. And the Mules have a chance here to get two quick ones with still 5.47 remaining in the opening quarter. Mules playing very well so far tonight. Had the one penalty, but have uh, played very well on offense and defense other than that. Okay, there goes a pitch to Black straight ahead, and he is into the end zone, I believe. Let's see what they mark. They may say his knee hit before he got in. No, they're calling it second down. I thought he made it in. I guess his knee hit just short of the goal line. That was Bonilla carrying the ball. Okay, Danny Bonilla carrying the ball in. And he's just short of the goal line on about the one-yard line, maybe inside the one-yard line. Second and goal for the Mules. No fumbles here, no penalties, no mistakes. Just take it in. There goes the pitch back, and this time we're in there. It's Benia again, and he just bulled over the uh, right side of the offensive line and the left side of the Brownfield defensive line, and it's 14 nothing. Mule shoe, and they'll try for two here again, I think. Now, they may kick it this time. I don't know who we have kicking. No, they're, they're lining up to go for two. Successful on the first attempt. There goes a pass back to Hamilton. Fires into the end zone. Batted away. No good. Incomplete. Pass a little high. And a good defensive play by Brownfield. And, and uh, Gene Paul, our extra point kicker, is out tonight. So I guess we'll be lining up for the two-point conversions all night. There is a flag down, but I think that was on the mule. So uh, Brownfield naturally will decline that since uh, the pass was unsuccessful. But it is 14-0 with 5.05 remaining, and the Mules will kick off again. 14-0, and Brownfield does not have a first down, am I correct? And the Mules have what? About four. Four first downs for the Mules and none for Brownfield. Okay, here we go. And that's uh, 
Get the, get the thing ready, too. And a good high kick down there, taking around the eight-yard line. It looked like Atwood kicking off, didn't it? And the tackle's made out around the 30. Good coverage there with the Mules. Number 13, number four, Lewis on the tackle. Number 13 also on that tackle for Mule Shoe, and that is uh, Chris Kendall. So the Mules have started out playing very good football tonight. Brownfield has not uh, had a lot of offense this year. And if that holds true, you know, if we get another one or two, they would be in some trouble. So first and 10 to go from the 30-yard line. That's just where Brownfield started the first time they had the football. Sides in at quarterback. And he's going to run over the left side. He's going to keep the ball, and uh, he will not be successful on that play. Gene Paul? Uh, yes, he lost about two yards that time, Ronnie. Uh, the Mules have picked up 159 yards in the first uh, eight minutes, six minutes of this game. Okay, so the Mules have dom dominated so far, but we're still early in the game, still in the first quarter. Sides tried to fake in there to uh, hope then, keep the ball around the right side. Lost a couple, good defense by the Mules. So it's second and 12. I look for uh, Brownfield to start putting the ball in the air. They've come close a couple of times, and the passes have just been a little off mark. No, there's a pitch around the left side and a few yards in there, out to about the 34. That is uh, number 40, I hope. 42 Hope carrying the ball. He's a good runner. Picked up uh, six yards on that play, but it, it'll still be a third down and six for Brownfield. And I would think this is a passing down, but we'll wait and see. Could be a reverse, could be a lot of things. They might hand off to Hope again. Sides has tried one keeper and has lost a couple of yards on that. Okay, there's a receiver out wide to the right side. High formation behind uh, Sides. And he's going to bootleg pass across the middle. Intercepted in there, and we have that one. That's uh, number 73, Nunez, on that interception. So their mules are right back. They have the ball on the 34-yard line of the Cubs. That was good coverage in the middle, and number 73, Nunez, picked that one off. He he fumbled it, uh, Gene Paul, and held on to it. If someone had hit him just as he uh, touched the ball, he might not have caught that. But a good job by Nunez, Juan Nunez. And he runs it back five yards, and he has the ball on the 34-yard line. So the mule's in business again. And, you know, you just in football, you've just got to take advantage of every break you get. I would look for Black going wide again this time. We'll wait and see. Okay, Hamilton under center this time, under Atwood. I formation behind him. There goes a the pitch straight ahead to Black. He's straight ahead, and he has the first down still on his feet, and he's all the way down to the 10-yard line. So Black went right off right tackle that time and picked up from the 34 all the way down to the 10. That should be 24 more yards. Actually, he's on the 11. Let's give him 23 yards. So another first down. That's just a handoff to Black from tailback, blocking from Heinrich. And good blocking by the Mule Shoe offensive line, I might add. And a big first down there, the ball on the 11. It's first down and 10. We could make a first down, Eugene, I mean, uh, Gene Paul, without scoring. And uh, we could get down to the one and have a first down here if we need to. Shotgun formation, there's Hamilton. A keeper all the way, and this time he'll not go. He's going to lose. Good defensive job out there with the defensive end of Brownfield. And Hamilton just took the direct snap then, tried to run around the left side, and he was tackled for about a two, three-yard loss. Three-yard loss, so the ball back on the 13-yard line. And, and uh, Gene Paul, we have to score here on the ground because uh, we're out of kickers. I don't think we can kick a field goal unless something happened last week that I don't know about. So at second and 13, let's see if we put the ball in the air, go back to black, possibly wide, around that right side, that might be a good place to go. Let's see. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. There goes Hamilton, uh, fake to black. He goes uh, to about the seven. Picked up a few there, let's see. Picked up about four on that play. Hamilton fake, went straight ahead. It's third down and nine yards to go for the first down, ten for the touchdown. And, boy, this is a big play here. We, of course, we have, like you say, two shots at this. But uh, two big plays 
for the Brownfield defense and also the Mule Chew offense. If we can get this one in, we'll sure put pressure on Brownfield. And if they hold us, this might give them some momentum. Okay, we have receivers out wide to both sides. Hamilton back in the shotgun. Takes a snap. He's going to pass. Looks. Fires. Incomplete. Might should have had that one. Black just couldn't hang on to that one down around the five. So it's fourth down. It's all coming down to fourth down. You know, uh, Black runs the ball all the way down to the 11. And then we lose yardage on the next play, and we just really haven't recovered from that. So it's fourth down and nine to go for the first down timeout for the Mules. The Mules lead 14-0. Roared down to the 11-yard line and then suffered a loss. And, and uh, right now, after an incomplete pass, we have a fourth down. Hamilton in under center this time. He's back to pass, fires, and that one is caught for a touchdown. Kendall, a great catch out there, but Kendall, uh, Black, I mean, uh, Hamilton under center then. He took one step back and just floated it out there, and it looked like it might be a little over Kendall's head, and he just dove for that ball and caught it. So that was a big play there for the Mules. I guarantee you, Gene Paul, uh, three touchdowns up is a lot better than two. The Mules up 20 to nothing with 135 remaining in this first quarter, and uh, they're going for two again. We have Hamilton back in the shotgun. He'll probably throw the ball, takes a high snap, looks, and he fires, and it is incomplete, incomplete. That play uh, never materialized. We took a high snap, and Hamilton had pressure all over him and just uh, fired it to the back of the end zone, but it was out of bounds even if we catch it. So 20 to nothing, the score. The Mules do get the big touchdown, and uh, the Mules now have, what, 196 yards on the ground? Oh, that's that's total, total yardage, 196 total yardage. So... Touchdown pass from Hamilton to Kendall. The Mules up 20 to nothing, and we'll kick off again. Bill to kick off. That's uh, Tyree Wilkes, number 11, back deep, and uh, Garcia, number 81, also back deep. That is uh, Roy Garcia. And uh, let's see if we have, uh, you know, we have uh, Atwood kicking off again. He's been kicking the ball very well, Gene Paul. He's getting it around the seven-yard line. I sure like the looks of that. And here's a kick. This time it's kind of a squibbler. Picked up around the 18 by Wilkes, and he's tackled on the 28 by number 34, Salcedo. Number 13 also in there to help out on the tackle for the mule. And that's uh, Chris Kendall. So the mules uh, have a 20 nothing lead here. Brownfield not picking up a first down. I look for them again, Gene Paul, to start throwing the ball. Of course, the last time they did it, uh, Nunez picked the ball off and it touched down. Hides with the ball. He'll hand off five or five. 118 o'clock running. This has been a long quarter. Of course, the Mules have scored three times and uh, been a few penalties, and it's taken a while to play this first quarter, but a very successful one so far for the Mules. So second and five. Sides lines his men up, has a receiver out wide to the left side. High formation. Pretty good running room. He's close to the first down. It'll be third down, I believe, in about one when they sit. Get things all set up. That's what it's going to be. Third and one. Brownfield trying to pick up their first first down of the night here in the first quarter, and they're close to doing so. Okay, third down and one to go for Brownfield as they line up with only 27 seconds remaining in the opening quarter. The Mules up 20 nothing. Sides. Going to hand off again in there. To, oh, oh he, may have, he was tackled almost in the backfield by Jared Flores, but I think he fell forward enough for the first down. We'll wait and see. Flores hit him about a yard shy of the first down, but he fell forward. They will measure, and uh, I'm sure if they did not make the first down, down 20 to nothing, they'll be close enough even in their own territory to go for it, so we'll wait and see. 
And that's the end of the first quarter. The Mules up 20 to nothing, and they've had a very good first quarter. Fourth and one for Brownfield here to begin the second quarter, and let's see if they go for it. 134 yards for Brady Black in the first quarter. Not a bad quarter. Okay, fourth and one. Brownfield will go for it here, so a big uh, offensive play for Brownfield, needless to say. And keeping the ball, they have the first down and a little more. Good tackle in there, but good, uh, good job in there running the ball. Just a direct snap to the quarterback. Sides picks up the first down. And I believe that was Lewis on the tackle. Good tackle, but it is a first down for Brownfield, so they keep this drive alive. And that's their first first down of the night here with 11.54 to, to play here in the second quarter. So first and 10, a new set of downs for Brownfield. They have the ball on the 42-yard line down Brownfield territory. Mule set up on defense. And not a whole lot there as the mules toughen up over on that left side with Shelburne and Atwood and Nunez. Maybe a yard picked up on the play. So it's second and nine now for Brownfield. And we have a player down. Uh, that's uh, Atwood. Is, uh, he's limping, though. Ooh, I hope that's not a knee. That was Josh Hope carrying the ball, and we have uh, Atwood being helped off the field. I guess uh, probably the pilot fell on a knee. He's, he's uh, getting off on one, one leg. He's our center and one of our best defensive boys, and he's also been kicking off. And it does not look good right now as he's helped off the field. Who did they put in for him, did you see? 52. 51. Well, no. 22 in. Okay. Danny Bonilla. He usually plays in out there. There's an option play. Good defense out there for Salcedo. He makes a an unassisted tackle on that one, and that was Hope trying to get around the right side, and he's going to lose yardage on that. And we'll just wait and see how bad... Uh, Atwood's injury is, but it didn't look too good as he went off the field, and we'll have to get another center ready if he's not in there, and you know a lot of times that causes problems on exchanges. One yard lost on the play. It's a third and ten. I would think of passing down for Brownfield. Timeout, Brownfield. Okay, after the timeout, Brownfield now facing a third and nine on their own 42-yard line. 20 to nothing the score. The Mules up. Mules have five first downs. Brownfield one. The Mules have 196 total yardage, and uh, Brownfield has 25, 25. So the Mules have dominated uh, dominated thus far, but it's still very early in the ball game. And back to pass. His sides has plenty of time then. Now he fires, has a man out there, and it's oh. batted away incomplete. Good defense out there by Juan Carlos Reyes. Juan Carlos playing uh, Gene Paul with a broken thumb. He can't play offense, but he did a good job on defense then. So... Uh, Sides had plenty of time to throw the football then, good protection, but he kind of let that one hang up, and we had it well covered, the deep pass on the right side, so Brownfield back to punt again. No, that, uh, Wood back to uh, return the punt. And that one is blocked. Oh, he's going in. He may pick it up and go oh. in. No, he's just going to fall on it. That's smart. Of course, it's our ball anyway. And let's see who that is, uh, uh, Gene Paul. Who was that? That's number 34. That's Salcedo. 
Salcedo came in. We had almost blocked a couple of punts before, and he made a beautiful block on that punt. The ball went all the way back to the about 17-yard line, and Salcedo just falls on the ball back there, and it's Mule Shoes football from the Brownfield 17. And the Brownfield fans really haven't had a whole lot to cheer about thus far. And they, dis -vo they voiced a little displeasure on that last play. But a good job of Salcedo. Looked like he's untouched as he went in there. Gene Paul just blocked that one with his left hand and then fell on the ball back on about the 17. So the Mules trying to add another touchdown here. They lead 20 to nothing. And keeping the ball right up the middle is Hamilton. He may have a yard. Good defense there by number 41, 42. That's, uh, yeah, number 42, the good running back, made that tackle in. Hope. Hope, Hope on the tackle. And uh, about a yard gain by Hamilton. Let's get old Black the ball and score here. Okay, this time Hamilton will be under center. And we're going to pass the ball again, and uh, it's going to be another touchdown. That's going to be Wood then, and that's that same pass. Uh, Hamilton just raised up from under center and floated that ball out there high, and uh, Wood just runs under it. No one around him then. He, he passed the defender, brings that one in. So two touchdown passes in there for Hamilton, and it's now 26 to nothing, Mule Shoe, and they'll line up for two again. Tyler Wood, a good catch and a good pass in by Hamilton. Good protection from the line, uh, only a one-step drop, and just float that ball out there, and uh, man coverage, and uh, we just picked up six more. And Hamilton on a low snap. He's going to try to run it in this time. He's in there, I believe. Let's see. Did he? I thought he was in. Maybe the ball wasn't in. Are they saying no? Well, they have, is it, they have 28. They never did signal, did they? I guess he made it. I thought he did. It was it was very close. I never saw a signal, but it's 28 to nothing unless they take two points off. He made it. Okay. Again, this time from the south end of the field. New kicker, yeah, we'll have to because that wood's out. Well, we have a couple of kickers. It's going to be, get the number there for me. Benia, number 22, Benia kicking off. And Garcia back deep again. And a kick out to about the 25. And tackle it at the 36-yard line, so not bad. Benia's kick a little shorter. And then a pretty good run back by Brownfield. And the tackle made out around the 36-yard line. So it'll be first and 10 for the Brownfield Cubs on their own 36. The Mules up by 28 nothing. They've been successful on two of the four extra point attempts, going for two points each time, and the four touchdowns. Two touchdown passes and two touchdowns on the ground. So the ball actually on the 37-yard line now as we get things underway here with still 9-18 remaining in the half. And Brownfield just moved. Looks like the left end jumped in. So a five-yard penalty on Brownfield. That'll move the ball back to the um, 20, 28 yard, no, the 32-yard line. Be first and 15 from that point. Okay, first and 15 for the Cubs now. And a high snap, and they just got killed in. That's Nunez in there, number 73. Number 51, Shelburne also in to help out. And another loss on the play. That snap was high, direct snap back to the shotgun sides, had to jump to catch the ball. And just about the time he came down with the ball, Nunez was in there to make the tackle, and Shelburne in to help out. So it's going to be uh, about another four-yard loss. Let's call it, well, three-yard loss. Let's call it uh, 
Second down and 18 to go for Brownfield. One back in the backfield. There's a handoff, and boy, he had nothing there. And the uh, Mule Shoe defensive line, Gene Paul, is really playing well at this point. They really are. That number 73 and number 52 uh, were in on the tackles that time. M Munoz and... Nunez and Rigo Mendoza in on that tackle, leading the way. Several other mules in there. And it's going to be a third down and still about 17 for the first down. Receivers out wide to both sides. Two slots this time. Back to pass. Plenty of time. And, boy, they're just going for the downs. We may intercept that. Almost, but not quite. It seems like when they're passing, Gene Paul, they're um, – very impatient. They have been open across the middle a couple of times if they hit the receiver, but they're just going for the downs every time they throw the football. And then it looked like uh, Juan, uh, Juan Carlos might have intercepted that, but uh, the Brown football just got a hand in there. So a good job by Juan Carlos Reyes on defense. He's playing very good defense so far than that. And we have Tyler Wood back again with a fourth down and 17 to go. Brownfield will kick from inside their 20-yard line. And we're on our own 33-yard line. This time, no pressure, kind of a slanting kick, not a real good one. It's taking a brownfield hop. And, boy, I tell you what, Tyler living dangerously. He picked that up with the would-be tacklers all around him. Picks up about two or three yards after he picked the ball up. So the Mules have good field position again on, the, on their own 37-yard line. 32-yard punt and a three-yard return. 7.51 remaining in a very slow half here. Of course, one reason it's slow, the Mules have 28 points. And uh, Brownfield so far with one first down, the Mule Shoe defense and offense has really dominated thus far tonight. Both lines have played well. Eye formation. Black at tailback. Heinrich in it fullback. There's Black around the left side. Has some more running room, and he's across the 40 to the 41. He's tackled out there by number 69 and number 42. That 42 is in on everything. That's 63 and 42. Let's see. Of course, 42 is Hope, and 63 is uh, Acosta making that tackle. About a three-yard pickup for Brady Black, and that's the uh, least he's made in that. There's what? Okay, circle number 55 in its center now for the Mules as uh, Atwood was uh, shaking up a couple of series ago. So Jeff's circle in there at center. Under center this time, quarterback Hamilton. Good snap. There's a reverse play, and this may go. And we cut back inside. We have the first down and more, and that is a first down and all the way down inside the 45. And that's Salcedo taking that handoff. I thought he'd go outside, but he saw something inside, cut back, and ran very well and picked up the first down on that reverse. So the ball to the 45-yard line, a pickup of about, uh, let's see, that'd be 14 yards, 22 yards on the play, Gene Paul says. So a big first down there, and the Mules continue to move the ball. They have first and 10 to go with the ball on the Brownfield 45. With 6.50 remaining, the clock running here in this first half. And the direct snap back. Hamilton pumps, now goes, and has a man out there, and it's caught, and uh, we're tackled around the 20-yard line. Good pass from Hamilton then. He, he pumped once and then put the ball up. Number 13 on the catch for the Mules in. That's Chris Kendall. And Kendall tried to spin, but he was uh, really spun around, and the ball placed right on the 20-yard line. But a pickup from the 45 to the 20, that's 25 yards on that pass play. And so far, everything working on all cylinders for the Mules tonight. Ball just inside the 20. Black in it, tailback. He's the only back in the backfield. Hamilton under center. Circle, the center. There's Black bullying his way down for five or six. Boy, he ran hard down. Or was that, was that Lewis? Lewis in there instead of Black this time. Lewis bulls his way down. For about five. As Lewis number four. I saw the four. I thought it was 44. It was number four. So Lewis, let's see what he made. Oh, we have a flag. Then it must have had some motion. That's a, if it is, it's our only our second flag, Gene Paul. We had the flag on the first 70-yard run. We got called back, and now we get our second flag. 
It's been a while since we had one. Let's see where the. Oh, it's against Brownfield. Okay. I don't know what that was. It may have been an unintentional face mask, or maybe they were lined up all sides, but the ball goes down. That play will be nullified, but uh, it's a first and five now instead of a second and five. Took five yards away from Lewis, but it's um, first and five on the Brownfield 15. Hamilton fumbles the ball, picks it up, and he's going to be killed back there on the 22. Dropped the snap then and uh, picked the ball up, but we had number 80 all over him, number 42 again all over him, and several other Brownfield players. So uh, let's see who number 80 is. That's, yeah, Kobe Jenkins in on that tackle and also Josh Hope. So it's going to be instead of a first and five, we now have a second and 13. We lost eight on that last play. Looked like we just didn't handle the snap then, maybe got in too big of a hurry. 5.37 remaining in the second quarter. Good snap this time. Hamilton pitch out, and there goes Black. Black around the left side, still going. He's going to score. Black's in the end zone. Black took the option pitch in from Hamilton, and he just uh, has added 22 more yards and another touchdown to his stats here tonight. Gene Paul, and that's 34-0 uh, Mule Shoe here in this first quarter. And I would say that uh, Brownfield really has a – Long road to climb now to come back into this one. It's 34-0. Um, the Mules will line up for a two-point conversion. Good job of running by Black after the pitch. Good pitch from Hamilton to Black around that right side. He broke a couple of tackles as he went into the end zone. And that gives him a total of how many yards now? At 20. So uh, we're, are we in there again? Okay, we didn't make it then. So it's 34 nothing the score, 5-24 remaining here in the third quarter. The Mule Shoe kickoff at uh, the Mules up 34 nothing here, 5-24 remaining in the half. And uh, we understand that Level Land is up on Littlefield 14-7. to I'm not sure if that's at halftime. Danny Bonilla, number 22, kicking off again for the Mules. And again, we have Garcia back deep. And here comes a kick, a good high kick. I own about to take it on about the 22-yard line. Number four uh, running hard. He's out across the 40 to about the 42-yard line. Let's see, returning that, making a good run. Well, I don't see a four. <laughs> we have a couple of numbers that are, are wrong here, Gene Paul. Anyway, a good run by number four, and the ball goes out to the 42-yard 40, line. Good return there for Brownfield, and they have the ball on their own 42, 518 remaining here in this uh, first half. And there's a pitch back to number 10. Boy, he was hit in there. That's number uh, 30. Number 30. He was hit in there by Salcedo, and we've called his. Well, that was Lewis in. Lewis in there then. Good hit by Lewis. And number 30 carrying the ball for the Cubs is um, Jeremy Clayton. He also returns kicks for Brownfield. And a pickup of two on that last play. Second down, eight to go. Brownfield looking for their only their second first down here in this first half with 4.47 remaining. There goes a handoff, and Clayton hit right at the line of scrimmage. Man made a couple. And let's see, on that tackle, number 80 in there. Bonilla, number 22 in there on the tackle. Number 80 is uh, Tyler Sheets. And a pickup of three on that play. Let's say it's uh, third and five now. The ball on the 45-yard line, still in Brownfield territory. Well, I believe if we go ahead and win this ball game and uh, Leveland beats Littlefield, that'll put us in the playoff regardless. I believe is the way they explained it. Okay, third down and five to go. Back to pass at sides. Has some time. Fires. And was that a catch? No, incomplete. Out of bounds. 
And I think he dropped the ball anyway. The intended receiver is number 81. 81, is that 81? So, sides had some time and tried to hit uh, another player. Yeah, number 81 is Roy Garcia. He also returns kicks for Brownfield. And so it's a fourth down. Brownfield will punt again. And uh, Tyler Wood back to receive the punt. Good snap. No pressure. Oh, they dropped the ball. Whoa! -ho! And that and that uh, is legal there because the ball's on the ground. We wiped out the kicker then. Gene Paul, if we'd have been had to block on them, we get it is a good snap. And uh, number 33 for Brownfield just dropped the ball, and then we came in and really leveled him. He did get a kick away, but uh, not a very good one. 23 yards, no returns. Lucky you got that away. That was uh, Jose Garcia, and boy, was he hit then. Who was that hit? Okay, so the Mules have the ball again, 340 remaining in the first quarter. They may go for a long pass here. I don't know what they'll do. Ball on the 33-yard line. So far, just about everything has gone well for the Mules tonight. Black back deep at tailback. Kind of an offset eye look. And a flag down. The Mules uh, obviously took a little too much time then, or maybe someone moved. Well, so it wasn't that, was it? I guess someone moved. Yeah, motion. Somebody moved. So a five-yard penalty. That'll pull, uh, move the ball back to the 28-yard line. Mule shoot territory. 340 remaining. First half, mules up 34 nothing. Most of the time tonight, Gene Paul, the mules have looked very good. They have looked good running. So that's just their second penalty on the night. That first play from scrimmage and that one to, for 20 yards is the only penalty they ever had tonight. And Jeff Sh Circle has done a good job in at center after the injury to Atwood. There's a trap play. Picked up about uh, the five back that we lost. Let's see who carried that ball in. That's uh, number two carrying the ball. That's uh, Caleb Hendrick. It's his first carry. I believe he picked up six yards on that play. So it's second and nine, starting out with the first and 15 after the motion penalty, five yards by Heinrich on a little trap. And second and nine to go, the ball on the 34-yard line of the Mules, 2.58 remaining here in this half. There goes the pitch to Black, has more room. And he's just close to the first down. He's going to be a little short. He picked up about seven or eight more yards in. And I'll tell you something, Gene Paul, they're not much liking to tackle Brady Black right now. No, they're not. Brady's doing a good job. He doesn't look like he's moving that fast, but he just takes those short steps and picks his way down the field. And he's also running over people. Picked up eight on that play. It's third down and one to go for the first down. The ball out to the 43-yard line of the Mules. We'll try to uh, figure up a few stats here at halftime to let you know how things are going in the game. And Black this time, uh, he uh, flagged down, I believe. Yeah, flagged down. Black was hit in the backfield. I think he got enough for the first down, but that looks like that one will come back. If he didn't make it, I think he did. Of course, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't go for it here. He has motion. I think that might have been before. Well, no, they could have counted the play. So that moves it back. It would have been a first down, but it's going to be third down and five, call it for the mules. Should be six. And that is, well, I don't know. It looks more like five, maybe five and a half. Must have just liked a half yard for the first down. Okay, we have Wood out wide to the left side. Third down, five yards to go. 2.01, clock moving here in this opening quarter now down below two minutes back to pass man open caught that's wood has a first down out across the 45 to the 43 yard line wood little look in pass out, out on the left side and the defenders uh backing off him about uh, five yards he just catches that one and cradles it in he's limping a little now as he goes back to the huddle but he picked up enough for the first down and about five or six more so it's a first and 10 for the Mules on this latest drive with the ball on the 
48-yard line down in Brownfield territory. Still 138 remaining. Clock moving here in this opening quarter. Shotgun formation. There goes a keeper in there by Hamilton. He's trying to get around the corner, and he does so, and he makes the first down, and then is pushed out of bounds on about the 40-yard line, it looked like. So a fake to Black. Hamilton keeps the ball around the right side. He outran a couple of corners, picked up the first down, picked up 12 yards on the play, and he's all the way down to the 40-yard line down in Brownfield territory. Well, let's see. The ball must have been on the mule shoe 48 because we're on the 40 now and we got a first down and we picked up 12 yards and I thought we were on the 48 at Brownfield, so I guess I was calling that wrong. Anyway, you look at it, we have a first down down on the Brownfield 40. Shotgun formation. And the fake, the pass, have a man wide open out there, caught. And that is a first down. That's. Number 13 on the catch in there again. That's Chris Kendall. He's caught three passes, I believe, tonight. Kendall got from the 40 all the way down to the 27. That'd be 13 yards. 13 yards picked up on that little pass play, and boy, Brownfield really playing off our receivers now. We're just floating the ball out there and catching it. Back to pass again. And we have a good defense this time. The ball batted away, almost intercepted down there by number 11. For Brownfield, number 11 is Harry Wilkes. Made a good defensive play. So it's second and 10. 11, 111 remaining in the opening quarter. The Mule's up by 34, and we'll see if they add another one here or what happens. Mule shoe back up to the line of scrimmage now with the receivers out wide to both sides. Shotgun formation. There goes a handoff to Black. He's hit hard in there this time. He didn't make much in. The middle of that uh, defensive line really converged on Brady Black, held him to about a yard, uh, give him two yards on that play. Timeout Mule Shoe with one minute remaining, third down, eight to go. A little uh, draw play up the middle, and that just didn't go then. Timeout on the field. Back out on the field after the timeout. One minute exactly remaining in the first half. The Mules up 34 nothing. They have a third down and eight down on the Brownfield 26-yard line. This time we have uh, one blocking back in there. That's Benia. Sprinting out to the left is Hamilton. Pressure on him. He's going to run. He'll lose. No one open then. Or, well, we had, looked like we had uh, Kendall in the end zone. We had a lot of pressure then on uh, Hamilton, and he just couldn't get that pass off. So he'll lose some yardage on that play. Well, actually, he, just, he didn't lose any. He just didn't gain any. He made it back to the line of scrimmage. Fourth down and call it eight. Hamilton likes to sprint out to the left side to throw the ball. He's done that all year long, and then he just uh, had so much pressure on him he couldn't get the pass off. Good defense in by Brownfield. Hamilton under center. Has one running back in there. I don't know what they're waiting on out there. I guess the clock's messed up. Timeout on the official. Okay, they have everything straightened out on the clock. 21 seconds showing up on the scoreboard clock. And the Mules have a fourth down and eight to go on the 27 of Brownfield and a 34-0 lead. Hamilton back in the shotgun. He has receivers out wide to both sides. He almost fell down then. Looks and fires into the end zone, and let's see what happened. And we dropped the ball. Good effort out there by Salcedo, but he couldn't hang on to the pass, and he was on about the two. If he catches it, he was uh, no one around him, but he just couldn't quite reach that ball. And that ends uh, the first half. I thought there was 21 seconds. I guess it was less than that because it went off in a hurry there. So that's it for the first half, uh, Gene Paul. I'll let you give a few stats here, and it's 34 nothing Muleshoe. Oh, 
Well, Ronnie Mushu had a good passing game. They had uh, they was five and nine for seventy three yards and two TDs that first half. Black had uh, one hundred sixty six yards running the ball. That was on the first carry from scrimmage when Black had a seventy yard run wiped out. So, have done very well there. Brownfield has only one first down tonight, and uh, so the Mules have. Uh, thoroughly dominated here in the first half. And we'll be back with this second half of action with the Mules up 34-0. Well, Gene Paul, we're ready to get this second half underway. The Mules were very dominant in the first half. They had 189 yards on the ground, uh, 73 in the air, threw the air on a five for nine, no interceptions, two touchdown performance by Hamilton, 262 total yards, nine first downs. The uh, Mules are, were penalized for, what, 25 yards? Brownfield was penalized for the same. Well, they were 25, 35 yards, but uh, they had only 25 yards on the ground and 0 for 6 with one interception passing, one first down for Brownfield. So great defense and great offense for the Mules, and the Mules will be kicking off here as we begin the second half of action. Good kick. Lewis in there kicking with his left foot. Taken down around the goal line, Lopez. And he's tackled down there by number 13 right off the bat. And that is, uh, should have that, uh, Kendall. I should have that down. Kendall's been in on a lot of plays and I always have to look his name up, but that was Chris Kendall down there quickly to make the tackle. And Brownfield, uh, did they get a penalty? Not a good way to start the second half when you're down by 34, and I believe, well, maybe not. Okay. Ball on the 26-yard line. Good kick by Lewis. And they may be giving them a penalty. I'm trying to, no, they're just setting the ball down. Yeah, it is something there. They're being penalized for something. I didn't see what happened then. Probably a block in the back because it's uh, half the distance to the goal line. The ball down on the about the 16-yard line. That's a five-yard penalty. So that's where it'll be first and 10 for Brownfield to begin the second half of action and 11.54 remaining. Sides hands off in there and a good hard run in there this time and a fumble, but ball went out of bounds. Number 42 running very hard then. Ran over a couple of mules. Yeah, he had the first down fumble, but it went out of bounds, and they gained a little bit on the fumble there. Uh, this Josh Hope is a good ball player. He plays hard. He's uh, run hard tonight for the Cubs, and he's made a lot of tackles. But he did pick up the first down, so he came out all fired up here to begin the second half, and he just ran through a couple of mules in for the first down. Okay, first and 10 to go. The ball on the 27-yard line. Brownfield rehuddles. And the clock is still stopped because the ball was fumbled out of bounds by Hope on that first down run. He picked up probably three or four yards on the fumble. Okay, sides in at quarterback. He hands off uh, straight ahead. Boy, good hard running right there by Hope again. Is that Hope? No, it's 34 then. Tails running hard then. So Brownfield coming out all fired up the second half. That was a six-yard pickup, second and a short four for the first down for Brownfield. The ball all the way out to the 35-yard line. Brownfield running harder on those two plays, Gene Paul, than they've run all night. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did run harder that time. Okay, so second down and about four to go. Brownfield is lining up and running right at the mules, and here they come again, and that may be another first down or close to it. That's number 20. Number 20 carrying the ball in for a first down. Picked up about four, just enough for the first down. Okay, first and 10 to go here. The ball on the 38-yard line of the Brownfield Cubs. 
They have a good drive going here to begin the second half. Two straight first downs. There's a handoff again. This time the Mules clog it up over on the right side. Short gain in there. Brownfield probably uh, got a pretty good earful of some things the coaches weren't happy about at the halftime, Gene Paul, and they're, they're a little unhappy right now, and they're trying to save a little face, and that's uh, that's good. Uh, the Mules will have to play this half. They can't just uh, rest and think they have an easy victory. No gain, maybe a yard gain on that last play. It'll be second down and nine to go for Brownfield. They took the opening kickoff. They have a couple of first downs. There's a pass, and it is complete. And that's going to be another first down. So Sides completes his first pass of the night. He was 0 for 6 with an interception in the first half, and he finds a, an open man. That's number 6 out there in the right flat for the first down. That was Tanner Morin picking up that first down. He caught the ball and picked up about five more yards downfield after the catch. So three first downs for Brownfield, and they're trying to put something on the board here. They have the ball right on the midfield stripe. First and ten to go. Clock stopped on that uh, going out of bounds on the catch in by Morin. And some pretty good running right there, but good defense by the Mules. That's Tyler Wood in on the tackle. Uh, Danny Bonilla. Number five also in there for the Mules. That'll be uh, Robbie Bomer. And a pickup of three. That's actually four. So a good run in there by Brownfield. That'll make it second and six. Loera again on that run. Good uh, four-yard run. Number 20. Carried the ball a couple of times on this drive. It'll be second down and six to go. The ball on the 46-yard line of the Mules. And back to pass, and the pass is incomplete. Good defense out there by Tyler Wood. Number four, almost pulling that one in. Not quite, and we don't have number four's name, so we'll just call his number out. So it'll be third down and six. And, of course, there's no doubt in my mind that Brownfield will probably be going for it on third and fourth and doing that all night long, trailing 34 to nothing. And the clock stopped with 9.15 remaining. The Mules have not touched the football here in this third quarter. Brownfield's had uh, the ball the entire quarter, took the kickoff, have three first downs, have a third and six here. And there goes a the pitch. And there's a fumble, and the Mules have it, and Tyler Wood is going to be tackled on the 35-yard line. So hard running in there by Brownfield, and that was, I believe, Era that coughed that up. He was hit hard in there as he tried to turn the corner. Tyler Wood picked the ball up and uh, made it all the way down to the, I guess, the 35-yard line. That's where it is, and the Mules have another turnover, so... Brownfield came out in the second half and trying to do something with the football. And uh, they make three first downs, run some time off the clock, but the Mules get the ball back on that fumble and pick up by Tyler Wood. And the ball on the 36-yard line in Brownfield territory. And there goes a handoff to Black. He's around the corner again, just like he started the game, still on his feet. And he's tackled inside the 20, so he went from the 36 to the 19. That'll be uh, 17 more yards for Brady Black. Another first down, number 10 for the Mules of the night. Well, actually, they put the ball on the 21. They said his knee hit, so it'll be 16, uh, 15 yards. Chris Kendall got a good block. That time. Good block by Chris Kendall around that side to open the way up for Brady, and then Brady ran over a couple of would-be tacklers. And keeping the ball in there, and that's, uh, I believe that's, uh, Hamilton uh, will lose a couple of yards in. There's nothing there as he tried to cut up inside. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 22-yard line. Actually, maybe second and 11. Lost about a yard on that play. 
So the Mules up 34 nothing, threatening again here with 8-12 remaining in the third quarter. And there goes the pitch. Oh, boy, they killed us in. That's Juan Carlos Reyes in there for the first time tonight, and he tried to turn that corner, and they threw him for a big loss, about, uh, about three yards, so it's going to be third down and 14. That was Juan Carlos' his first time on offense in the ball game tonight, and they really, really had him corralled. But it's a third and 13, call it, for the Mules. Ball all the way back on the 24-yard line, 747 remaining. There's time out for something out on the field. Equipment repair. Problem for someone on the Brownfield team. It's third down and 13 now for the Mules. Let's see what we do. We pitch the ball and... Uh, pretty good run up the middle there. Is that uh, Juan Carlos again? Let's see. No, that's ba uh, that's Bonilla, Danny Bonilla. And Danny uh, picks up four, about eight yards on it, about seven yards on the play. It's going to be fourth down and seven to go for the Mules. Mules, you're not throwing the ball now. Just uh, just running right at Brownfield. Okay, fourth down, seven to go for the Mules. Hamilton still in it. Uh, no, that's not a Hamilton, that's Cadell, I believe, number 11. Let's see. Yeah, Cadell's, Cadell's in there at quarterback. He tried to run with the ball, fake to Juan Carlos Reyes, and Cadell's tackled short of the first down, so the Mules will give up the ball. And uh, they, the Mules are playing a lot of players now, and uh, they're not uh, really throwing the ball. They're just running right out Brownfield, and Brownfield held them. Brownfield has the ball back. It's 34 nothing. Mule shoes, uh, mule shoes, 647 remaining here in this third quarter, and the Mules, uh, of course, with a commanding lead. Brownfield had their best offensive drive of the night on the first series here in the second half, picking up three first downs. They only had one the first half. They have four for the game now, and the Mules what picked up one on that last drive. They have ten. Bomer in on defense and a good job in there, but number 80 of the Mules made that tackle. That's Tyler Sheets. Big Tyler Sheets got in there and slung the ball carrier down. It's uh, Heinrich in on defense. Um, it's uh, second and 10, no gain on that play. Ball still on the 23-yard line. Clock moving, not very fast, but it's moving. Still 6.20 remaining here in the third quarter. Rudy Gonzalez came in. Good. Of course, he's, uh, he was out with a badly sprained ankle. And a uh, pretty good job there by the defense. And I think, let's see if, uh, if uh, no, Brownfield still has their starting quarterback in. That was Sides trying to run an option, and that was good defense there by the Mules. Benilla in on that tackle. Uh, Kendall in on it. Number 73, Nunez. And it's going to be third down in about nine and a half or ten. Crowd uh, very quiet over here on well, really on both sides right now. I don't know how many mules you has here, Gene Paul. Uh, that's those are some large bleachers over. It doesn't look like too many, but the bleachers are very large. All, uh, Back to pass, and there is a pass, and it is caught out there, and. Uh, Great uh, pass or run out there, and it's picked up out there. Mulesu tried to intercept that one, missed the interception. And let's see who that is that caught that pass. It's number 42, and he's our all-purpose player here at Brownfield. A big first down on the third and long. And, of course, that's uh, Hope, Josh Hope on the catch. And another first down for Brown. So first and 10, Brownfield picks up another first down, keep, uh, keeping this drive alive. Clock running, just under five minutes in the third quarter. And we missed a couple of tackles and a few yards picked up in there. Somebody blocked a little late. I don't know Lewis there. Who was the ball carrier then? See, I hope. Loera. Loera. Loera, number 20, the ball carrier. Ran hard, picked up four. 
Brownfield, to their credit, is sure not quit here in the second half. Uh, Gene Paul, they're playing hard, trying to get something on the board. Side, hands off, straight ahead, close to the first down. That's uh, Mendoza, Regal Mendoza on that tackle, and uh, I guess number 20, Loera, carried the ball. Anyway, it's a third down and two. Brownfield, of course, every time they have the ball, if they're anywhere out toward uh, midfield, which they are now, I'm sure it'll be a four down series for them as they trail by 34. Clock running, 340, remaining here in the third quarter. Sides under center, hands off, straight ahead. There's a the first down. Boy, I tell you what, that may be almost the break there by Hope. Good run in there by Hope as he picks up another first down and goes all the way down to the 35-yard line and inside it to the 33-yard line of the Mules. Now the ball placed, well, actually on the 34. Hope picked up from the 45 down to the 34 on the other end. That'd be five. Six, 16 yards on that carry. So uh, Brownfield really piling up some numbers here early on in the third quarter as they're playing very hard trying to get on the scoreboard with uh, 327 remaining in the third quarter. Good run in there by Hope then. He broke a couple of would-be tackles and one of them in the backfield then. And there's a handoff and some good yardage in there for Brownfield, the tackle made by Lewis. Brought down in there by number 73. Juan Nunez makes a tackle. Good job by Juan. He just uh, penetrated in there and got Loera before he could get started. And he's going to actually have number six out wide to the left side. Back to pass. Side. Oh, he has a man wide open in there, and I think he's going to score. He just scored. Boy, he was open over on that left side, and we got confused then on defense. And Brownfield gets another first down and puts six points up on the board. And I'm trying to see the number of the boy who caught that, number 12. Uh, number, 11. number 11 caught it. Number 12, of course, sides through the ball. And number 11 for Brownfield is uh, Tyree Wilkes. He caught that ball wide open. I mean, no one around him out there in the flat and then just ran over a couple of mules and ran past them and went into the end zone. And that was, uh, what, uh, 32 yards on that patch of run play. There's a kick, looks good, and is good. So Brownfield on the board, and uh, they've kept the ball almost the entire third quarter. They lead 34 to 7. Okay, the Mules back out awaiting the kickoff from Brownfield after the Cubs get on the board for the first time tonight on that 32 yard pass play from sides to number 11, Tyree Wilkes. Good pass and run. Three first downs on that drive, and Brownfield really uh, worked hard for those uh, seven points, uh, Gene Paul. Uh, Brownfield had one first down the first half, and they've come back, and they've got seven, so they picked up six first downs the second, that, in that third quarter. So Brownfield had, had the ball most of the third quarter. There's a kickoff, and the Mules uh, bring it out to about the 37 or 8-yard line. Good field position. That was uh, Jared Flores bringing that uh, ball back on the return. It goes out to the 38-yard line, the ball in mule shoe territory. And let's see if the Mules can answer the touchdown that Brownfield's just put on the board. 138 remaining in the third quarter. Cadell in at quarterback uh, this third quarter. And we have Brady in at uh, tailback. And there goes a the pitch to Brady. Boy, he's not going to make anything this time. And what he did make, he made on his own. Uh, they were really waiting for him on the corner then, Brownfield was. Didn't have a whole lot of blocking out there then, and uh, we might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. So Brady had rough sledding then, trying to get outside on his left side. Goes out of bounds, stops the clock with 132 remaining here in the third quarter. And let's see if we made anything. May have lost a yard on that play. No, we made... Looks like we made a couple of yards. Let's see where they put the stick down, if they ever do.
And that one yard pickup then for Brady Black. And he made that on his own. He was hit in the backfield for about a three or four yard loss and managed to make a, a small gain out of the play. So second down and nine to go with the ball out almost to the 39 yard line in Muleshoe territory. Kendall out to the left side. We have number six in there now out to the right side. That is, uh, we have a six down. Oh, number five, okay, Bomer. Bomer out to the right side, that's five, okay. And I don't know what the delay is here. Still second and nine. Well, Shelburne's playing on defense. Is he in on offense? Shelburne in on offense now. I believe we have a different center, don't we? Or is that still? And a good snap. Back to pass. And the pass is incomplete. Good hit in there by Hope again, number 42. He put a good hit then on. Jordan Bob is in the game. I kind of run down for the yeah. Really substituting right now, Ronnie. We've got, got number 60 in the ball game. Nunez. And let's see, let's pick out some over here. Well, I'll pick him up in a minute. Okay. Okay, Cadell was hit then by Hope just as he delivered the football and uh, incompleted forward pass, makes it a third and nine. So the Mules really um, freely substituting here as we are winding down the third quarter. They have a big lead, 34-7. And uh, Cadell fumbles the ball, and Brownfield has it back. Cadell uh, looked like he was going to get the pass away and didn't, and uh, he was really hammered in there by Brownfield. Fumbled the football, and Brownfield has it back on the uh, 30, about 35-yard line. Uh, getting a little momentum here in the third quarter as it winds down, 117 remaining. Mule still up 34-7, but they've just fumbled the ball, and Brownfield has the ball back. Side still in there at quarterback. The Cubs trying to really get something going here, and they try a reverse, and, well, they faked a reverse. The reverse was open then. If they hand off on that, Gene Paul, I think they're going to score a touchdown. We didn't have anybody out there. But the quarterback side keeps the ball and still picks up six or seven. Oh, is that Larrera handed off to? Okay. He's done a very good job, and, and uh, I think they're setting up a little bootleg or reverse or something here. They were open that time if they had to run it. And they picked up, what, about five on the play, four on the play. Close to five. Call it five. Second down and five. Ball on the 30-yard line of the Mules now. Brownfield hands off straight ahead, and uh, good hard running in there by Hope as he was hit at the line of scrimmage and still picked up two or three yards. So it's going to be third and short for Brownfield as we're in the final minute of play here in the third quarter. Third and call it three. About a three-yard pickup then for Hope, and he made most of that after the initial hit. And they're just going to let the clock run out here at the end of the third quarter. The Mules lead 34 to 7. Mules leading 34 to 7. They've substituted uh, freely here in the third quarter. And uh, Brownfield playing very much better than they did in the first half. And uh, they've just recovered a fumble. And they're about to uh, have a chance to score again here with the ball on the Mules shoot 27 yard line. They have a third and three. And the Mules lead 34 to 7. Whole quarter to go, though, a lot of things can happen in that much time. In motion goes number 11. Back to pass at sides. He may run with it. He does run with it. He has a first down and more as he just uh, skirted past a couple of would-be tacklers and is finally tackled out there by Jared Flores. He's all the way down to the 20-yard line. Another first down for Brownfield. Ball placed on the 21-yard line, but that is a first down. 11.52 remaining. The clock stopped as they set the uh, change. Now here it goes. 
Mules up by 34 to 7, but Brownfield threatening here. Deep in mule shoe territory after recovering a fumble. Receivers out wide to both sides, high formation, sides in at quarterback. And he hands off, not much there. Waiting for the ball carry then was number 51, Shelburne. And a pickup of maybe half yard on the play. So, clock moving. Just over 11 minutes remaining in the final quarter with the Mules um, having a nice lead. Brownfield threatening. Second and 10, no gain on that last play. And there's a long pass is intercepted out there. And let's see if there's a flag, no flag. That's uh, number 24, Juan Carlos Reyes. Well, there was it Lewis, number four. Okay, Lewis, good defense there for Lewis from his linebacker position. And uh, Brownfield again went for the whole thing on that. And, and Lewis just had the receiver covered like a blanket then. And he went up. They both were fighting for the ball. And Lewis came out on top in that series. And uh, an interception. The Mules have the ball inside the 10. Let's see where they place the ball on about the three. So the Mules don't need to fumble here, Gene Paul. They did stop that uh, potential touchdown drive then. 10.56 remaining. The clock stopped after that interception here in the fourth quarter. Brownfield fans getting into the ball game for the first time really tonight here in this second half. And there goes a handoff. And Big Lewis is running hard, and he picks up a few. He's out to the eight. He went in a flag down. See what the flag is. Lewis goes out from the three to the eight. He picked up five yards, but it looked like a flag, and that may have been on Brownfield. may have been a face mask. The penalty is on Brownfield. I'm trying to figure out what the call was. It's going to be a big one, I believe, Gene Paul. I don't think that's face mask. I don't know what they call, but gosh, they're still going. Probably personal foul. And they go all the way. Muleshoe had the ball. Unsportsmanlike. Okay. They tell us that's unsportsmanlike conduct. So somebody must have hit someone in the pile or something. But the ball goes all the way out to the 23 yard line. So that was a big game for the Mules. They went from the three to the. 23, Lewis made five yards on the carry, and then um, 15 more added on the unsportsmanlike call against Brownfield, so a big penalty there, and they got the mules out of the shadow of their goal post anyway. So first and 10 again. Circle has done a very good job in its center after Atwood was hurt in the first half. And a little uh, trap play picked up uh, about five or six in there. Ball carrier is number two. Hendricks, Heinrich. So Heinrich, Caleb Heinrich picked up, that's the second time he's carried the ball on that play. And he picked up uh, seven yards on that play. I think six yards the first time he carried the ball. So he should have 13 yards on two carries tonight. Second down and three to go. Cadell still in it, quarterback, Logan Cadell. There goes the pitch. Bonilla just never really got started on that one, and uh, he was hit right at the line of scrimmage. Man made a yard. We'll see where they place the ball. So at least the clock is running here in the fourth quarter. The Mules uh, leading 34-7 to with 9-43 still to play in the ball game. No gain on the play. Pitch was uh, a little slow then to... Benia, and he just uh, really couldn't get his speed up. He was hit right at the line of scrimmage. So third down and three to go for the Mules out across their own 30. They're on their 31. Here comes Wood out to the left side. Slot out there with Benia in it. Logan Cadell hands off. Oh, good hard running in there. I don't think he made the first down, though, by Lewis. Looked like he was going to pick up the first down and hard tackling in there by Brownfield, and it's going to be close. See, let's see what kind of spot we get here, Gene Paul. 
going to measure. Uh, I don't believe you made it, Bob. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be a little short. Huh? Good hard running in there by Lewis, but uh, he just didn't quite make it. I don't think they are going to measure, though. And I'm sure the mules will punt here if they didn't make it. 8.55 remaining. The mules did run off a couple of minutes of time off the clock then. And let's see what we have here. And you're right, it's about a half a football short. You don't think the mules would go for it here? I don't know. Probably not. No, they're running their punting team. Okay, so the mules will punt. Brownfield may try to block this one. The mules have blocked one on Brownfield tonight. Mules will punt from their own 34-yard line. Kendall back to punt. Let's see who uh, Brownfield puts back deep. Is that Hope? Doesn't look like him. You can see the number. Yeah, Kendall's second punt of the night. What, first in this half or second? Good snap. And he gets a good high punt down there. That's number four. The boy, we don't have his uh, number. We missed about two tackles and then bring him down on the 36 or 7-yard line. Still trying to get him down. Finally do. Ball should be on the 37-yard line of Brownfield with 8.23 remaining in the fourth quarter. Now they're placing the ball on the 35-yard line. I thought his forward momentum was a little past that, but I guess not. First and 10 for the Cubs. They had a scoring opportunity a few moments ago, and uh, Lewis intercepted the would-be touchdown pass. Let's see what the Mules can do on defense this time. They have... Uh, Several of their starters still in on defense because Brownfield moves the ball very well on offense if you uh, do much substituting. And there's a fumble, but the ball had been blown dead. Good tackling in there by Nunez right at the line of scrimmage. Number 52 in on that tackle also. That is uh, Rigo Mendoza. We've called his name several times tonight. Pickup of two. It's second down and eight. Fixing to go inside eight minutes in this ball game. Fourth quarter. And number 11 out wide to the right side. He's the one that made the good catch and run a few moments ago for the touchdown. That's Tyree Wilkes. And keeping the ball in there hit hard by Lewis and a couple of other tacklers is uh, number 20, Loera. Picked up a few yards, though. We have someone getting up slow. That's uh, number 73 getting up slow for us. That's uh, Juan Nunez. Looks like he wants to come out of the ball game. Coaches haven't noticed, I guess, so he's going to stay in. I believe he's walking okay now. 7.07 remaining. Uh, about a six-yard, five-yard pickup by Luero on that last play. It's third down and four to go for Brownfield. Two men in the backfield, back to pass. Sides, fires across the middle, and nowhere near the receiver or anyone else. Fourth down coming up, and Brownfield will have to go for it here. We pretty well have our first team defense back in there, Gene Paul. So it is uh, fourth down and four to go for the Cubs as they're trying to uh, keep this dr latest drive alive. They've scored the only seven points in this half. Of course, the Mules have uh, substituted freely, but Brownfield has played much better this half. Okay, Nicholas Green in there. What's his number? Number, uh, number 66. Number 50 in the ball game for the Mules. That's uh, Fabian Duran. So the Mules have sprinkled in some uh, other defensive players, giving them uh, 
some experience, and that's good. There's time out on the field. Go for it. And let's see if they pass the ball or if they try to run some kind of a reverse or trick play. Sides, number 12, has been in there all night at quarterback for Brownfield. And it looks like Brownfield left a little quick then, number 11. Uh, looks like what he was trying to do then, Gene Paul, was run just as hard and far as he could and let Sides put the ball up and try to run under it. Yeah, I didn't. I was watching the play. I was trying to see who was in the game, Ronnie. Uh, Jordan Bonds is also in the game on the line. So we've got quite a few. Uh... Well, Jordan starts on the offense. Oh, does he? Okay. Well, he's playing defense right now. <laughs> so a lot of the players that uh, play one way for the Mules are getting to play the other way tonight. And that might help down the road somewhere. The Mules actually haven't had the ball uh, a great deal of time here in this fourth quarter. They've been on defense all night. And Brownfield decides to kick, and they do. And we don't have anyone back there. Takes a Brownfield roll, and it's going down close to the 20-yard line. Kind of surprises me there. I thought they might go for it. She's had nine offensive plays on the second half. I said Mushu's had nine, nine offensive plays in the second half. Okay, and Brownfield's picked up, what, about six or seven first downs? So the, the Cubs came out, and they tried to save some face, and they've certainly done that here in this second half. With 6.41 remaining, they've scored the only touchdown in the second half, and the Mules have got to play a lot of players, and uh, Brownfield is... Uh, Kept the ball the entire uh, third and fourth quarter almost. Mules about to uh, run their 10th play of the second half on offense. Wood out wide to the left side. Cadell still in there, quarterback. And a little power play. He's going to pick up a few. Is that Bonilla? No, that's uh, yeah, Bonilla, Bonilla, number 22, carrying the ball. Picked up three. Second down and seven for the Mules. After this next play, we should be down below six minutes, halfway through the fourth quarter. Been a long ball game, about two and a half hours so far. Quite a bit of sc scoring, and Benilla this time's hit before he had a chance to get started running. He'll lose yardage. And there is a fumble, but the whistle had blown the play dead. And let's see. Let's call it uh, well, about the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Third down and seven. Down inside six minutes. Mules, uh, third down and seven to go. Probably will not put the ball in the air. There's number five out wide to the left side. That's uh, Robbie Bomer. High snap and a handoff, nothing there. Boy, they, they were waiting for us in. We just barely got that snap, and then uh, the whole play was out of sync, so the Mules will have to punt again. Brownfield really coming in hard then. We didn't have much of a chance to make anything then. And the Mules will punt with... Uh, the clock running down inside five minutes. Number four back deep for the Cubs. Good snap. And a good kick. Boy, that's a booming kick there. Number four drops a ball, and I think he fell on it back around the 33-yard uh, line. He fell on his own fumble. Good kick in there then by Kendall. And uh, a 43-yard punt, number four, had to go back for that ball and dropped the ball but did fall on it. So it's Brownfield's football on their own 33. 4.38 remaining in the fourth quarter. The Mules up 34-7. 
And there goes the pitch around the left side. Good tackle in there by number two. The Mules got in the backfield. That's Heinrich. Caleb Heinrich. That's going to be a loss, I believe, on that play. About a, maybe about a yard. Uh, about a yard loss. So, so Heinrich back in the backfield. Second and 11. Brownfield trying to get around the right side. It looked like they might have had a little bit of green out there if they could turn the corner, but Heinrich in there to mess that play up. And we're down to 406. About to wind this one down. And a, a same play to the other side, and number 30 couldn't find much running room, found a little. Had number four over there tackling, number 63, number 13. Let's see. Four is Erwin Lewis. Number 13 is Chris Kendall. Number 63 is uh, Jordan Bonds. And on that tackle, pickup of about uh, four yards on the play. And at number 30, the ball carrier then for Brownfield was... Uh, Jeremy Clayton. So third down and seven to go. 325, clock running. And the uh, quarterback kept the ball, didn't make much, maybe a yard or two. The mules are going to the ball very well now with quite a few subs in there. And I'm surprised Brownfield didn't try to throw the ball on that series, at least they haven't yet. And it's a pickup of two. It's going to be fourth and five for the Cubs. We have Tyler Wood back to receive the punt. If Brownfield does punt, and they are lined up to punt. And a low snap. And a kind of a low kick. At, uh, I think we just need to get out of the way of that, and we do. Ball on the 33-yard line in mule shoe territory, so the mules maybe will be able to run the clock out here. Mules to the offensive line of scrimmage. Uh, Cadell in at quarterback. He's back in the shotgun. And a high snap. He just did reach it. He hands off in there. To, yeah, and boy, he was upended in there by number 11 as he tried to turn the corner. Number 11 played a good game for Brownfield tonight. That's Tyree Wilkes. He has their only touchdown on that pass and catch and good run into the end zone from 32 yards out from uh, sides. The quarterback made a good tackle in on Bonilla, and Bonilla will lose about a half a yard on the play. Okay, inside two minutes now, second down for the Mules. Ten and a half to go. There goes a the pitch around the right side. That's Jared Flores carrying the ball. Flores cuts back, makes a few, and he's dragged down on about the 38-yard line. Picked up, uh, yeah, let's see, about six yards on the play, and it's going to be third down and five for the Mules here. Good run by Jared Flores, his first run of the night. I believe some of the fans may have left, uh, Gene Paul. It looks a little, it's been a long ball game. Long way back to Mule. That's a long ways to Mule. The Mule fans uh, seem to still be over on their side. And, ooh, a little pass, and it's caught out there by Tyler Wood. I thought that ball had been hit. Wood's still on his feet, and he's tackled down around the 42. I, I thought that ball was hit at the line of scrimmage, and they might intercept it, but somehow it got to Tyler Wood, and he made a good catch, and Picked up about, uh, well, he went from, what, the 42 to the 42 on the other end, about 18, 26 yards on the play. Well, 24. They're putting it down on the 43. So another first down for the Mules. Is that their second one this half? Second one. First down this half. 11 first downs for the game now for the Mules. 
Man, we took a knee right there, and we got hit after we took a knee. At, uh, could have given 15 more to Brownfield, but it didn't. And with 30 seconds to go, that should be the last play of the game. Cadell just took a knee, and then somebody came over there and popped him pretty good, but uh, probably frustration. And we'll take a knee one more time, and that'll be it. And a little bit of hitting going on down there, but Cadell takes a knee, and that'll end the ball game. The Mules have a big win here, Gene Paul. They're going to win it 34-7. Of course, they put the game away in the first half. They led 34-0 at half. They uh, played a lot of players in the second half. Brownfield came back and, and tried to make a game of it. They did score one touchdown and uh, play much better in the second half. But this has been the Mules' night, and they now have a record of 7-2 and two on the season, 2-1 and one in district play, and that uh, that should – put us in the playoffs and we play Littlefield next week at home if we win that of course we will be second in uh, district assuming that uh, Cooper will not lose but uh, Cooper and Brownfield play next week Cooper open tonight we'll have some final stats for you here shortly Paul, this game, the tone for this game was set early tonight when uh, Brady Black went 70 yards on the first play from scrimmage. It looked like a mule touchdown, and then uh, that one was called back. The mules received a 15-yard penalty. Then Black ran for nine, and then he ran for 75, and I'm not sure Brownfield ever recovered from that. So the mules just uh, really uh, played like a machine in the first half, uh, limiting Brownfield only one first down and 25 yards on the ground, none in the air. And the Mules had a total of 252 yards, nine first downs in the first half. Then in the second half, the Mules played a lot of players, and Brownfield, as we said, played harder and uh, did score the only touchdown in the second half on the pass from sides to uh, number 11, Tyree Wilkes. But uh, the Mules uh, continued to play well, and they dominated this game. And uh, they really made a, a giant step toward the playoffs in this one. And Gene Paul, do you have the stats I'll ready? I've got them pretty close, Ronnie. I don't know how close. But Mushu had 230 yards rushing. Uh, the Brady Black had 174. Hamilton 10. Benia had 25. Hendrick had 11. And Reyes had 10. A total of 230. And passing, well, uh, Hamilton had. Nearly 100 yards, 99 yards with uh, two TDs. Uh, Kendall had 49 yards and Woods had 50s, and both each one of them had a touchdown. The penalties, uh, Mushu had 25 and Brownville had 50. Okay, thank you, Gene Paul, and uh, we've enjoyed bringing you this game tonight, and we look forward to playing against Littlefield next week, and uh, we'll... See you there in Muleshoe.